go from the fifth spot here. Six through 10, Sean English, Jordan Mitchell, Landon Sartain, Chase Lane, and Michelle Gray. 11 through 15, Michael Heath, Kobe Lambert, Bryson Murray, Devin Morgan, and Bryce Hoyt, and your 16 through 20 starters, A.J. Walsh, Chase Stewart, Bladen Massengill, Josh Joyner, and Taylor Mitchell. Final 10 for the grid in this one, Brody Kellum, Kaylee Richardson, Marty Croxdale, Hunter Adams, Jacob Krug, Ryan Micah, Jeremy Rich, Eli Vasco, Andy McGronicle, and Chad Cunningham. That's your 30 starters for this one. 20 laps the distance. It's going to be $750 to the winner of this one. Clone Super Heavy warm-up. You'll be our next main event going for that 15-lap $1,000 to win main. You guys need to be getting ready. Clone Super Heavy warm-up, fifth class of the day, next on track. All right, here we go. Main event number four here, the third day of the Daytona flat track. Avery Franklin going to tow the field down through turn three and four. Looking for our first attempt at a green, and nope, not going to go this time. And we're now live on the Pit Row TV Facebook for your free Facebook look in here for the day. Presented for the folks at Summit Racing Equipment. And we've got Semi-Pro National on the racetrack now for you folks at home just now tuning in. Thank you both for watching. Make sure you hit that share button for us. Comment on there. Let us know where you're watching from. If you like what you see, go on over there. Get yourself a subscription. You can see all the rest of the racing here today. Also currently cover the Rumble in Fort Wayne, up in Fort Wayne, Indiana, there on Pit Row TV. And if you guys don't yet have that subscription, make sure you grab it. You don't want to miss that last class of the day, paying $11,000 to win for the Kathy Luster Memorial. That will be shown live on Pit Row TV if you don't yet have your subscription. Again, thanks to you folks for tuning in on Facebook. Already up to about 100 viewers here. Make sure you hit us in the comments. Let us know where you're watching from. Thank you, Aaron Shoemaker, for tuning in watching from Paducah, Kentucky here today. Now, Roy Whaley got us tuned in out there in the pit area. Larry Loper from Brunswick, Georgia watching. Robbie Hensley from Lancaster, South Carolina. All right, here we go off turn number four. Green flag is out. First start looks good here in semi-pro national. Avery Franklin going to gap him off of turn number two. First lap down the back. Braden Hall in the 929 up a spot on the grid. He runs second off turn four. Justin Dobson able to take that second spot back away. A lot of moving and shaking for spots two on back. Builds a huge lead for Avery Franklin here early on. Eight tenths of a second when they completed lap number one. Franklin off a of turn number four. Smooth at the wheel of that car number 81. Now 1.3 seconds out front of this one. With just two of 20 complete, Avery Franklin has checked out. Justin Dobson second, Sean English up to third, started back in that sixth spot. Good run for the 960. Avery Franklin still fastest card on track by about two tenths of a second. Last time by is the gap now 1.5 seconds and we've got trouble. Up in turn number two, we've got two carts around. It's the seven of Landon Sartain, the 505 of Jeremy Cox involved. Drag stays clear, will stay green, now with four laps complete. Cart on the move with a quick lap of the race last time by Chase Stewart. Started 17th, he's up into the top 10 here early, as we're now five complete. Franklin, Dobson, Chase Lane, Sean English, and Kobe Lambert. Avery Franklin working on a half a straightaway advantage, 2.2 seconds out front last time. We're looking for the battle second on back there on Pit Road TV. That's Justin Dobson in that red 13 holding that second spot. Third place, Chase Lane in the great ghost cart 151 trying to take that away. 
You got Sean English in the 960 there in your shot. Kobe Lambert there in the chop shop back card 41 going to be looking for a spot. Ryan Joyner right there in that battle as well. Card number 15 looking for more down to the inside. Lukama, North Carolina's flying Ryan Joyner to the inside of Bryson Murray. He'll pick one up off four. Eight laps complete, and it's been the Avery Franklin show since the drop of the green. We got trouble, though. We got a card around off the top of four. That's the 009 involved. He'll get it pushed off the racetrack. Track stays clear. Now nine laps complete. Avery Franklin still laying down the quickest laps of the race. One of the most dominated performances we've seen all week here at the Daytona Flat Track. Lead them off a of turn number four, now to halfway. Avery Franklin by three seconds now over second place man Justin Dobson. Stretching it out lap after lap. On your pit road TV screen, you see the 41 taking that third spot away. That's Kobe Lambert. The Ian Wallace chop top that machine. Kobe Lambert out of Gaffney, South Carolina, up into your top three. Avery Franklin now 3.4 seconds out front of this one. Clone Super Heavy Warm-Up, Clone Super Heavy Warm-Up. Your main event's next. We need you in the grid. Clone Super Heavy Warm-Up. Next out for your $1,000 to win main. Showing you the race in a little bit further back in the pack. We can tell you it's the same thing out front. Avery Franklin now by 3.8 seconds. Full straightaway advantage for the driver of the car number 81. Started out front, and he is dominated from the drop of the green. Avery Franklin into slower traffic, going to be coming towards five laps to go this time off of four. He'll clear that slower traffic, now sees five fingers in the air from black man Jerry Strickland. Leader there now on your pit road TV screen. You can see how far he stretched it out. That's lap traffic there, second in sight. There's your second place man, Lambert, just now coming in that bright yellow cart 41. You can't miss him, the chop chop colors running in that second spot. Flying Ryan Joyner has worked his way up into third in this one lead with just four to go. Avery Franklin clicks off another one now. 17 complete, less than three laps to settle it. Clear racetrack ahead for your leader. It's about a straightaway up to the next card in line. Smooth sailing off turn four for Franklin. He'll see the two to go signal. Avery Franklin, Kobe Lambert, Ryan Joyner, your top three. Avery Franklin in a zip code of his own in this one, breaking him off a of turn number four. Going to see the white flag with one more lap to go. Bested the 37 cart field earlier here today in qualifying and rocketed away from the drop of the green flag. 4.2 seconds out front. Avery Franklin down to the start finish line. He's going to take the win in semi-pro national here today. Avery Franklin... And for second, it's going to be Kobe Lambert. Ryan Joyner going to finish up in the third spot with Sean English and Justin Dobson, rest of the top five. Six through ten will be Devin Morgan, Bryson Murray, Jordan Mitchell, Taylor Mitchell, and Jeremy Rich. Again, just about the most dominating run we've seen all week long here at the Daytona Dirt Track. As you see on Pit Road TV, taking it down there to the scales, making sure it's going to be official. Avery Franklin, 4.5 seconds over the field there at the checkered flag. Going to take the win there in semi-pro national. Took them wire to wire, led for all 20 laps in that one, and it's good at the scales. So they'll get it down there to the attention of our WK Tech officials. Getting our next class out here on track. Clone Super Heavy Warm-Up. You should be in the grid. Last call for Clone Super Heavy Warm-Up. 15 lapper, $1,000 to win. Coming up next.
And again, we thank you folks for tuning in at home on the free preview on Pit Row Facebook. Keep on letting us know where you're watching from. Mash that share button for us here today. We had over 1,200 viewers on this thing at one point Wednesday night. I think we were up to about 800 last night for the free preview. 263 people currently tuned in on Facebook watching us. We'll get a couple more classes in for you on that. Again, thanks to the folks at Summit Racing Equipment for sponsoring the free previews here this week at Daytona. Again, thank you guys for tuning in so much. Hit that share button. Let us know where you're watching from. Thank you, Aaron Christian, watching us from Illinois here today. Got Polly Carmichael tuned in. Thank you, Nick Green, for watching us. Aaron Shoemaker. And now back on track, rolling out now. Clone Super Heavy warm-up. Going to be 15 quick laps and a $1,000 payday for this one at the checkered. Junior 2 warm-up. You should be making your way down to the grid. You'll be our next main event on track. Junior 2 warm-up. Let's be getting ready. You'll see the field 30 carts strong rolling out here onto the Daytona flat track. Ryan Walsh driving cart number three are in the pole position earlier here today. It was 37 carts trying to make this field. Walsh ran a lap of 15.812, had him covered by a tenth of a second. He'll start out front with Mitch Hendricks in the 505. That team been stout here all week. The 55 cartel cam, Hendricks going to roll from second. Ryan Hebner looking for his fourth win of the week here at Daytona. Going to go from third in cart number seven. It'll be Mason Ketterman from fourth. And Austin Wyatt going to go from fifth. Six through ten, Wendell Chavis, Clint Mills, Chris McGraw, Tim O'Connor, and Christian Henson. 11 through 15 on the grid. Woody Pete, David Whitener, Tony Sampson, Matthew Tilly, and Ryan O'Connor. Again, 30 carts for 15 laps and $1,000 to win. Up past 300 viewers now, make it 323 on the Facebook feed. Thank you folks so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that share button for us. Make sure you like what we got going on. Let us know where you're watching from. Thank you, Brian Simpson, tuned in from Ohio, watching us here today. Sherry Dobson, tuned in from Alabama. Got Ralph Reynolds, Jr., tuned in all the way up from Rutland, Vermont, watching us. Curtis on North Wilkesboro, North Carolina, tuned in with us. Robert Waters checking us out from Muncie, Indiana. Thank you, Robert, for tuning in. And we might just be able to talk them into getting another free race or two if you guys can get that number up out there in Facebook land. So make sure you mash that share button for us. Up to 360 viewers here today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're just now joining us on the racetrack now, you see on the Daytona flat track, this will be your clone super heavy warm-up class. Going to be 15 laps, going to be $1,000 to the winner. Thank you, Lonnie Lofton, for tuning in with us again here today. Newton, North Carolina in the house. Josh Owens be watching us from Gaffney, South Carolina. Rock Ledge, Florida. Thank you, Jeff, for tuning in. All right, here we go. They look good for a start. First attempt, clone super heavy warm-up. Ryan Walsh leads the field off of turn number four, and we're green. To the inside for the lead off of turn number two. Mitch Hendricks going to go for the lead first time down the back. He'll take it in turn number three as they will shuffle that three of Ryan Walsh. Walsh trying to find his way now, not able to do it. Now third leader in this race, Ryan Hefner down to the inside to the point off of turn number two. Lap and a half in the books, third leader of this race, Ryan Hefner to the point as it's a hard battle for third. Clint Mills down to the inside. Wendell Chavis going to cross him right back up off of turn number four. Not content to ride. Those two races mighty hard, mighty early. As there's more contact off turn two now for that third spot. Chavis and Mills not playing nice back there. Racing for about spots three, four, and five. Now it's going to be Austin Wyatt getting jacked up. Now it's Clinton Mills losing spots off of four. Top two have broken away. Mitch Hendricks and Ryan Hebner. Working on about a 25 car length gap back to third place man, Wendell Chavis. Make it four complete this time by Hefner. Looking back down low for the lead in turn number one. 
He ran him up the hill in one and two. Hendricks able to hold on to the top spot. Hefner's going to have to tuck back in in second. That hard racing bringing Wendell Chavis into the mix. Chavis running down your top two now. That car number 94. Wendell Chavis, four tenths of a second. Better than your top two that last time by. Six of 15 complete when they get here this time. Ryan Hefner looking for his fourth checkered flag of the week. Took two wins on night number one here at the Daytona Dirt Track. Took another win here last night, but now under pressure, he'll lose the top spot. Mitch Hendricks back to the point off turn number four. As they swapped it back and forth, lap after lap. Now Hendricks back to the top spot with seven down and eight to go. The 55 cartel machine. The Kinetic Vulcan of Mitch Hendricks lead them off a of turn number four. Now to halfway, eight laps in the books. Oh, we've got seven to go. Wendell Chavis now about nine tenths back of your leaders. Ryan Hebner still put the pressure on the bumper of leader, Mitch Hendricks. See who's going to take this $1,000 payday. Next time when they get here to the strike, we'll be seeing five to go. Mitch Hendricks half a cart lead advantage off of turn number four. Ryan Hebner trying to chase him down. And now the battle for third, Ryan Walsh to the inside of Wendell Chavis. After Walsh got shuffled way back earlier, Poleman has worked his way back up to a podium spot. Make it four laps to go with the leaders get here this time. The best battle on the racetrack is for spot number one. You see it live there on your pit road TV screen. Mitch Hendricks in the 505. How wide will he be able to make it? Not wide enough. Here comes Ryan Hefner looking for the lead once again down the front into turn number one as we've got three to go. Hefner to the point, drops it down to the bottom of the straightaway, shuts the door on Mitch Hendricks. He'll bring it off turn number four. He'll see two to go this time. Two laps away from his fourth checkered flag of the week here at Daytona. Can Mitch Hendricks take it away? He's one cart lane back. Not enough to get there this time. They'll see the white flag off at of turn number four. One more lap to settle it. Hendricks going to get a good run off at of turn number two. He's just a cart lane back. Not going to be enough to put the pressure, though, off of turn number four. And for the fourth time here in Daytona for 2022, Ryan Hefner across the stripe. With four fingers in the air, talking about four wins here this week. Again, a two-time winner for the Wednesday show. Took a checkered flag last night and his fourth win of the week here. He'll take it in clone super heavy warm-up. Ryan Hefner, Mitch Hendricks, Ryan Walsh. Wendell Chavis and Donnie Nall going to finish up the top five for that with six through ten. Randy Garner, Ty Bennett, David Whitener, Austin Smith, and Mark Whitener. A good race up there at the front for start to finish again. Ryan Hebner taking his fourth checkered flag of the week here at Daytona. And again, we thank you guys so much for tuning in to the free preview here on Facebook. Thanks to the folks at Summit Racing Equipment for sponsorship of the free preview here all week for the Daytona Flat Track. We got 606 people tuned in live on Facebook watching us. Thank you, Bryce McGee, tuning in from Rural Hall, North Carolina. We'll get one more race in for you guys, so stay tuned in. Keep on hitting that share button for us. If you don't yet have your subscription, you can jump over to the website pitrow.tv and get that. You'll be able to log in and watch all the rest of the racing here today. Next main event on track. Junior 2 warm-up should be in the grid. Junior 2 warm-up for your 15-lapper for 500 to win. Junior 2 warm-up, 15 laps, $500 to the winner. Next on track should be in the grid. Clone Heavy National, Future Stars National, and Junior One National need to be getting ready as well. Thank you, Eric Pike, tuning in from Rock Mart, Georgia, here today. I 
You hit that share button for us on Facebook. Head on over, get yourself a subscription. You can watch all the rest of the racing here today. Watch the Rumble in Fort Wayne. I believe they got started up there today as well. As well as all the archive footage on Pit Row TV website. All the racing action they've been covering the last couple of years. You can watch all that on demand with your subscription. So good reason to head on over there and check them out. PitRow.tv. I believe we're going to be showing one more race here on the free preview on Facebook. Our Junior 2 warm-up class coming out here for 15 laps, $500 to win. Green Springs, Ohio tuned in. Thank you, Levi, for watching us here today. Michael Cross watching from Pell City, Alabama. Elk Grove, California tuned in here today. I'm Blake Austin watching us from Atlanta, Georgia. Damon Eames tuned in from Stewart, Virginia. Thank you, Dennis DeBoy tuned in from Des Moines, Iowa watching us. Ransomville, New York tuned in here this evening. Thank you, Matt Hardy, for tuning in from West Virginia, watching us here today. Got Josh Boyette watching us from Kenley, North Carolina, there on the free preview on the Pit Row TV Facebook. And thanks to the folks at Summit Racing Equipment for sponsoring the live look-ins here this week at the Daytona Flat Track. Summit Racing Equipment, longtime supporter here of the World Recording Association. Got Axis Alabama tuned in. Hanover, Pennsylvania. Mark Ruark, Laurel, Delaware, watching us here today. Again, thank you folks so much for tuning in with us. This will be the last race of the day on the free preview there on Facebook. If you like what you see, head on over to the website. You can pick yourself up a subscription and watch the rest of the racing here today at the Daytona Flat Track. Get ready to go here with this one. 15 laps going to be the distance. Bradley Carter in the 151B. Going to start from the top spot. Again, a seven-time winner here this week at Daytona. Looking for checkered number eight on the day. It is Jay Carter logging back to 151B. He'll start from the top spot with Chevy Jones starting second in the 47J. Miss Carly Bennett in cart number 10 going to go from third. Colton Jordan from fourth. Riker Ridley going to roll from fifth spot. And here we go. Looking for our first attempt off a of turn. Number four, Flagman says it's good. Green is out. Change for the second spot before they got to turn number one. Carly Bennett with a power move there early on in that cart number 10. Slapping that helmet, asking for the draft and help. Says, let's line up and try to catch the leader here. Through three and off turn number four, we do get that first lap in the book. Says they're going to be three wide for second. What a move for Riker Ridley as we got trouble there in the pack. That's Carter around in cart number 51. More contact up into the outside wall. Two more involved. The 317 of Jaden Cordell along with cart number seven of Vernon Harris Jr. Harris knows that seven up into the outside wall hard there. So three carts involved, gonna put us caution with just one complete. And on your replay on Pit Row TV, you see Cowboy Carter getting turned around in those two carts with nowhere to go. Jaden Cordell and Vernon Harris Jr. with the evasive moves there. The 151 getting crossed up may have had a little bit of help there. May have been just a bit of contact from Brody Bajor to send him around. And then you see Harris burying it up into the wall. Good to see driver was okay. Cart looks to be okay to rejoin. And now on your pit row screen, you see Brody Bajor up and out his cart number two. Uh, something to miss with that cart coming over and asking a, one of our Max's cart racing officials. I know. I was just making sure we were also going to See if we can get that cart number two back rolling here. Brody Bajor, the Avis Electric Company back cart number two out of Mechanicsville, Virginia. And they'll get him cranked back up here.
Clone Heavy National, Clone Heavy National. Need to make your way down towards the grid. You're our next main event on track, Clone Heavy National. Going back, green flag racing here with just one lap complete. Bradley Carter, Carly Bennett, Colton Jordan, top three, gonna break away off of turn number four and back to green we go. Bradley Carter strong off of turn number two, gonna leave the battle for second on back. Right now, Miss Carly Bennett holding that spot in her cart number 10. A lot of pressure to the back bumper from Colton Jordan in the 18. Jordan down to the inside. He'll take that second spot away, and he'll bring company. Riker Ridley to third. Dylan Tross now to fourth. Ridley looking for more off of turn number two as they're all running down that 151 of Carter. As we said, that's been a tall task here this week at Daytona. As they're going to fan out three wide for the lead for a moment. Carter going to block them down to the bottom side of the racetrack. He'll snake the field down the front straight away. Holds that lead off at of turn number two. Here comes Riker Ridley looking down low. New leader in turn number three. Riker Ridley to the point as they'll shuffle the 151 of Carter up to the outside. Now on the outside of three wide, Carter going to go back to the sixth spot. Diving back down to the inside for fifth as leader Riker Ridley starting to get away now with four laps complete. Dylan Traw second, Colton Jordan third, Carly Bennett fourth. Now Bryson Smith up to the fourth spot in the 2B. The chop shot machine starting to move. The outlaw Bryson Smith starting to run him down. He's about to make it a four car battle for the win here. That bright yellow, card number 41, Ian Wallace back, chop shop ride of Bryson Smith. Fastest on the racetrack last time by as he's closing the gap down. Next in his sight's gonna be third place, Colton Jordan. He's there for that spot. Seven laps complete, gonna be coming to halfway where they get here next time. Riker Ridley, Dylan Trost, Colton Jordan, Bryson Smith, and Bradley Carter joining the mix here again. He's worked his way back up to the fifth spot. Bradley Carter, not out of it yet. Eight laps complete, just past the halfway point. Smith gonna dive down to the inside for third. Contact there for that spot, gonna lose time for your top two. Smith the third in cart number two, the outlaw Bryson Smith from 14th to third in the Ian Wallace back cart number two. From way in the back of the field up into a podium spot, I don't think he's interested in that podium spot. He wants to go up there and get the win. Next in his sight is going to be the 505 of Dylan Tross. Diving down to the inside for second. Racing hard off a of turn number two. Smith up to second now from 14th spot. Asking for the draft and help. I don't think anybody's going to be able to hang with him to do it, though. Looking strong here off a of turn number four. Bryson Smith up to second. He's got four laps to try to get to Riker Ridley. Ridley leading it by six car leads off a of turn number two. Bryson Smith second, Bradley Carter runs third. They'll be coming to three to go this time by. Bradley Carter fastest on track that last time by. Up into that third spot. It's Smith second, it's Riker Ridley leader and they've got lap traffic ahead. Lap traffic ahead for your leaders. That's gonna slow down Ridley up here at the front. Here comes Carter for second. Here comes Carter looking for the lead to the infield in turn number one. Ridley gonna slam the door and Riker Ridley holding the lead off of turn number two as lap traffic continuing to play a factor here. That black 101 not on the lead lap and white flag in the air one more time by. Bad news for the rest of those drivers. Great news for Riker Ridley as he's scooting away here. Final time down the Daytona flat track back straight away. Riker Ridley through three and off turn number four. Going to see Checkered. He's going to take it in junior two warm up. Riker Ridley for the win. Second goes to Bryson Smith. Started 14th spot. Comes up just one short there in the second position. Dylan Tross going to be third. Bradley Carter and Colton Jordan. Rounds out the top five with six through 10, Cowboy Carter, Carly Bennett, Ronnie Hurd, Lane Woods, and Brody Bajer. Again, unofficially the top 10 there in junior two warmup, Riker Ridley taking the win in that $500. Clone Heavy National, Clone Heavy National. We need you making your way in the grid. Clone Heavy National, next main event on track. 
as that will do it for the free Facebook preview. Thanks to the folks at Summit Racing Equipment. Again, thanks for everybody for watching that there at home. Let us know where you're watching from. Share them with your friends. Make sure you head over to Pit Row TV. Grab yourself a subscription. You can watch all the rest of the racing events here today, including that $11,000 win. Kathy Luster Memorial, we've got coming up last race of the day. So, again, thanks to everybody for tuning in. And we appreciate it. Rolling out next for their 20-lap, $2,000 win main here today at Daytona. Clone Heavy National starting out front with a new track record. Cole Fireball Johnson taking the $100 Terriota Promotions Award for breaking that track record. 15.517 seconds earlier today in qualifying. Ryan Joyner driving cart number 15 rolled from second. Devin Morgan in the 148 going to go from third spot. It will be Avery Franklin looking for his second win of the day. We saw him dominate there just a couple classes ago. He rolls from fourth spot in this one, car number 81. Blayton Massengill goes from fifth in the 19B. Six through 10, Landon Sartain, Kobe Lambert, Bryson Murray, Jamie Knopf, and Chase Stewart. 11 through 15 on the grid, Austin Yarbrough, Stephen Adams, Jerry Mullis, Brandon Hoover, and Jeffrey Leonard, and 16 through 20, Daniel Armstrong, Colby Horner, Preston Sparks, Ethan Endicott, and Bubba Williams. Heavy hitting field here for the Clone Heavy National main event here today. 20 laps and $2,000 to the winner. Future Stars National 